Welcome back to Metroid Prime! Metroid Prime! Oh, sorry! Metroid Prime! Metroid Prime! Oh yeah, we're in the Phazon Mines. We're in the Phazon Mines, the heart of the nasty operations the pirates are doing. We've got power surges in this mining compound. Where exactly? Right there. In the central dynamo. Oh, good lord. Uh, that means explosion in the future. Dynamo. <laughs> Yeah. So this, so uh, there are three separate levels to the Phazon mines, determined by their security clearances, I suppose. Mm -hmm. This is level one, where you have to be, you know, a pretty pretty high-ranking official, not quite the usual space pirate guff, but you know, upper middle management at least, definitely. Mm -hmm. Like if you like, if you have to go into the office to fill out some paperwork, you probably can come down here. But it also seems like you have to be really good at dodging missiles. Well, if, if, you're, if you have clearance, you're fine. Samus doesn't uh, have clearance. She doesn't need clearance, she gets her own clearance. Just kicks down the door and says, Hi, I have clearance. You don't have clearance! Get out of here! Oh no, it's the clearance police. <laughs> more like, more, they're on clearance because they're... Taff off! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Apology not accepted. What? No! Uh, Why not? What? Well, look, I got my apology half off. <laughs> it was on clearance. See, look at that. He gives me discount apologies. Me, however, I get you top dollar apologies. I go to Hallmark and get you a card. Well, let me see that apology. Start a YouTube apology right now. All right. I start out with how everyone should start their YouTube apology. Do you have a dog? <sighs> oh, the, yep, the big sign. We got that. Hey, guys. So, sorry I said all those terrible things. I'm sure people of that particular whoever I insulted are fine. They'll get over it next topic. <laughs> Bunch of dirtbags. God. Anyway, I'm really sorry. Make sure to click like, hit subscribe, and check out my merch. I think the best part is... We if, could literally if, be talking about if anybody. If this gets up to 20,000 likes... I'll do another! I'll do a real apology! <laughs> <laughs> what? Who are they talking about? Take your pick. Yeah, well, take your pick. I don't keep up with who needs to apologize now these days. I'm sure everyone, everyone's got to... Everyone, everyone just apologize for something. Okay. Niskel, I'm sorry. Oh. For what particular thing? For something, I'm sure. Okay. Well, you know what? I apologize too. You know, apology accepted this time. Cool. Uh, check yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, check, check on, on it. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. I'm glad we could have this apology session. It started out with talking about clearance. <laughs> and you know that that, <laughs> that, that had that, that handshake. Yep. That's what made it feel. Ooh. That's what made it feel real, man. I could feel it. I agree. It was it was, it was just it was just a gimmick, but then then the handshake happened. And All the other ones, because they were in videos, did not count. See, this, this is how you know we're in, like, big shit right here. That that took two scans to get this force field down. Mm. We're about to get into some place we should not be. Now, you have to be at least, you know, a senior manager to get past ah, here. Okay. Is he the guy that puts together the schedule, or is he the one that, you know... Like, somebody needs a guy who knows the maintenance, like the guy in the chair. So, uh, alright, you're working the cash register. Yeah. And, uh, the, uh, the POS system goes down. The, the whole, mm. like, money thing shuts down. Yeah. You t and you say, hey, manager, did you come down here and see this? The guy who comes down here to look at your at the at the broke cashier system, yeah. he is allowed in this early part of the phase on mines. Okay, cool. But when he is like, uh, I don't know, and he calls his superior, he is allowed to be past this force field. Okay, cool. That's, that's how high up we're getting on, on the, the chain here. The see, manager of the manager. See, these guys, these guys run a lot of data entry. A lot and, of really sensitive data entry. And now they're in a lot of pieces. <laughs> And now I need to enter them into the morgue. <laughs> well, who controls the morgue? Well, those, that's that's level two. Oh, okay, okay. Level two. Because a lot of the guys on level three are coming up to the morgue in level two, and so, you know... <laughs> Ooh, mm -hmm. uh, we're, we're taking down some high-authority people here today. Right now, we're here still at basically what's called level one. Neat. Well, we need to they are separate. Turn, turn the place on, of course. I say levels because they are separated by elevators. God, I just realized there was so much detail in the thermal visor. When you shoot the ice beam, it has no signature because it's so cold. Exactly. And when things freeze, they lose their thermal signature. Exactly. Oh, these guys, these must be from, like, internship or something like that. They don't look good. What the hell are these things? Scan it for me, please. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, scan it for me, please. All right, we have here wave troopers. Oh. Check this out. 
Space pirates have reverse engineered several of your weapons, including the wave beam. What? A flaw in the design makes these pirates vulnerable to their own beam weapon system. These weapons are inferior to your Chozo design originals, but still quite potent. Wow, what a bunch of freaking nerds! Which means that they tried to copy you, but you can't knock the original. You can't, you can't copy can't, greatness. You can't bootleg Chozos. Oh my god, that can't do it. And uh, these guys are really weak to your to your beams. That's basically the only way to damage them. You know, I kind of feel bad for the pirates. They are trying so wickedly hard, and none of it works. Like, can you imagine how many man hours went into reverse engineering the wave beam? And then it's all for naught. It's like a five-year-old with a shotgun. You don't know- they don't know what they're doing, but it's still incredibly dangerous. Uh, it could do yeah. a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I like the idea to turn the wave energy into, like, a blade. That's kind of cool. That took some ingenuity. If you say so. Look, I like swords, okay? Okay. That's I like that. the plasma sword from Halo. It's neat. I... I'm not knocking it, I'm just saying. I deserve an apology for it. <laughs> How dare you! Hey guys, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I heard, uh, sorry, didn't hear, I read something the other day uh, regarding Metroid Prime. Ugh, there's Phazon directly underneath this. That's gross. Yeah. Please don't fall into that. I will not. Uh, yeah, but I uh, read something about the direction they were going to take Metroid after Metroid Prime 2. And somebody suggested, why don't we have Samus pull a Boba Fett and actively yep. seek out bounties? I saw this too. Nintendo said no. Mm. Because she needs to be, and I quote, more motherly. Uh, I so. There, there is a disconnect between... What we see as Samus and what Nintendo sees as Samus, and that's why there's a that's 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 why there's such a great gulf between certain Metroid games. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. So uh, look what happens when Samus returns and Metroid Dread sell like gangbusters. Look what happens when Metroid Prime, the trilogy, is still seen as one of the greatest shooter trilogies in gaming history. Mm-hmm. Because they got it. Nintendo, they don't get it so much. Not saying they they don't get it at all, but they just. I don't, they don't know what to do with Metroid, or Star Fox, yeah. or sci-fi in general, because well, it's too dark for them. There's a couple things where, y y you know the... there are... Th what the hell is that? Ugh. Well, that's Phazon. That's an elite pirate alpha. Oh. Ugh. Bendesium. Bendesium, huh? Can we blow up Bendesium? No, not right now. Okay. Well... If I may... The initial Project Helix experienced the space pirate embryos were disastrous. The phase on infusion process degenerated brain tissue even as it met... Oh, oh no, elite pirates. It made them stupid strong. So they just go berserk. They made berserkers. But, ah, we, we, got, a, we got a phase on strain that could work, so let's go with this! Uh-huh, we called it Vertigo, because while they may be berserker monsters, they're afraid of heights. And now's the perfect time for them to break out of their core! In due time. Oh, okay. In due time. We gotta head up first. Okay. Are and you- they're really nasty about it because they have, uh... Oh, I thought they would have, uh... Oh, yeah! Here oh, yeah, are. here they here are. Here we go. Yep, here they are. Bring Ow. it on. Bring it on. You got Get nothing. over there. You got nothing. Ooh, these, these guys are resilient. This is like putting up a, a bootleg uh, Ninja Mutant Turtle action figure against a real one. Ah, uh, yes, we have the alien mutant ninja frogs. See, if you, if you look at the sword here, it goes in the hand. Well, the sword goes in the hand. <laughs> See, you put the sword in the hand. It, and then the hand comes the off. Hand. And it's like, well, some assembly required. Well, yeah, you, you know, it's a rocket fist. See? It comes off and you go... We got see, it. See, see, you can like stab a guy, like, someone's over there? You wanna stab him? We can't? Phew! Rocket Phew. fist with the sword in the hand that you put in here, like... You put in here, like... You well, put, the, the you know, is... the rocket fist can throw the sword. At, so it can, you know, yeah, right. You have to use your imagination to make it fly, because it doesn't actually shoot anywhere. It's you... a toy for children anyway! What are you doing with worrying about it? Come on! It's just a $5 toy, they won't know the difference! J Jim, Jim, Jim. <laughs> Jim? 
Jim? Jim? Answer me, Jim. Why didn't Mattel buy my company? It's, you know, it's okay. It's okay, man. It's all right. I'm sure somebody would like your alien protozoa ninja frogs. So here is another type of trooper. A power trooper. With the power beam. With the power beam. They That's tried awesome. to reverse engineer my power beam, and it don't fucking work! Why don't you reverse engineer this? And she just flips him the bird. Ow. <laughs> ah. 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 Doesn't matter how good the game is, first person platforming is still painful. It's very odd. It, feel, it feels like Samus just gets bouncy sometimes, too. A little bit, yeah. Oh, he, he got right back up! He's a survivor! Eh, not, not for long. I mean, he died, but he's a survivor! We call him a fighter. We call him a trooper. And we kill all the, all the pirate troopers, so, I mean... Oh, well. I mean, it was fun while it lasted, pirate troopers. It is what it is. Yeah. Industrial Pulse Beam Online. Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh. Time to do some mining part of the mining! Alright! There's right. a little boost ball thing over here. You, you can use this to spin oh. the gun wherever you want it to. Well, this is fun. Yep. Oh, oh, yep. Um, hold then on. You, hold, uh, ah, there we go. And then fire. Kablam! There's the way forward. But wait. But wait on, wait on there, kids. It's not quite finished yet. We got this wall to do. We got right here to eh, do. Eh, eh, eh. Uh huh. Wait, what? Uh huh. There? Right I there. I didn't even see anything on the map. I'll be damned. Ah, uh -huh. missile tank. Right? Yeah. Are there any other walls to blow up just for, like, nothing? Probably nothing. It's maybe, most maybe likely a... just to let the player know, hey, you can blow up more than just that wall. Yeah, I mean, you can blow up... Like, there are probably some red herrings, like, you know, oh, this one's empty, try turning it somewhere else, mm -hmm. ho-ho. But also, and I just noticed this while playing the game itself, sometimes Ow. you'll hear the expansion hum. Oh. Whenever you're by a power-up or whatever, you hear like, a boom. Yeah. So if you hear that, you go, wait a minute, there's something here. But where? Let me see. Ow. Oh, wait, there's something here. They won't be here in a few seconds. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, Super Missile takes these guys out basically instantly. Ah! No need- don't, don't even need to worry about it. It's- it's fine. So this is a little complicated. Show me. This is a, uh... This is a belt puzzle, I suppose you could call it. Oh, I love puzzles. Bring it. Oh. Now I see what you mean. Yeah. Oh. Right now we're worrying about the blue rail, I think. What is the end goal? Going up. Okay. It's a start. So go up the blue rail, which doesn't have anything, uh, you know, it's it's just one rail. Mm hmm It connects up here. Got that, good. And hopefully we... Do you hear that? Was that out the window, or...? What? Oh, nothing. I thought I heard something squawk. I thought it was another pirate. You know, Robin, the ah, pirate. Nah, don't worry about it. Right, now, let's focus on this red one here. Move the red one to where it needs to go, just like that. Wait, really? Yep. We come back down here. Ah. And we come down here to move the red one right into place. So it all connects just so. Oh! Yeah, see? I do now. Boom. Hey, look at that. And now we need to take the red one to go up to another switch to make the yellow one go. Well, the yellow one we'll come back for later. Because well, that, that, requir that requires a third one up on the third part of this. And we and can't, we can't okay, get there Okay, we can't get there. Yeah, I gotcha. This takes us up a little bit higher. Oh, this is so much fun. I like seeing new parts of a game I haven't finished. Yeah. Oh, wait. Ah, uh, yep, there was another yeah, guy uh -huh. in here. I thought I was being stealthy! No! Goodbye, no, Flynn no. the Pirate. Goodbye. Yeah. Well, you don't need to be so dramatic about it, jeez. 
Oh, what's in here? Oh. oh. Even more stuff. Oh, this is worse. Do I fucking nah. have <laughs> Jeez it! We don't need to do this anymore. Well, Shoot. we're about to hit level two now. Yeah, show me the dynamo. Level two. Do uh, you have clearance? We we have it now. I think we I think we hacked in clearance, but that's the impact crater, and we're going even deeper into it. Oh boy! Go deeper into the hole, Samus. Yeah, okay, if you say so. It seems like a really bad idea. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? I, uh, d d do you have a minute? What's the worst that could happen? Give me the elevator pitch on what's the worst that could happen. Uh, we could all die horribly. Well, that doesn't seem like such a bad thing. Come on, you have to have a better reason than that. We could all die horribly slowly. Hmm. And we probably won't even be dead. We could be, uh, slaves of the Phazon, so we'll live against our will. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think I got him. And then Fred back there is just <laughs> such a maverick. He tried. Oh, is this like, really a, a jump and morph? I think I think this is like a Super Metroid type thing. I think it's too, like, there, there. I think. Oh my God, it oh, is. There's a, there's a little ledge. Wow. That's right slow. Oh, right there. Hey, there we go. Wait, are you just able to climb up small ledges? I think that, I think there was a ledge on there I could have landed on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, uh, uh, yeah, I think we're good. See, I thought they were pulling the Metroid Dread before Metroid Dread. Oh, that don't look good. Hi, you look deadly. He's got hey. his ha hands folded. Whoa, yo. Oh, he looks Whoa. mad. It's a tyrant! Oh, no! Oh, it is! Holy shit, it is a tyrant! It's a plasma artillery cannon! Oh. Thermal signature due to lack of shielding. Okay, so we- What is this thing? Do we need to over overheat it? This is the elite pirate they've been working on. Oh. Incredibly strong armored and well armed. Elite pirates are potent foes. Their energy siphon system absorbs beam weapon shots when they use to fuel a massive plasma artillery cannon. The nature of the system makes them vulnerable to, con to concussion based weapons. It means missiles. They're effective in close combat and, and at a distance. Their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion and quick attacks. So, no beam. Ice beam, maybe? Ow. So, if you use the thermal beam, you can lock onto his uh, plasma oh, cannon. Oh, kill back the there. cannon first. And you missed. It's alright, it's alright. A couple of super missiles should do it if I can I, actually fucking hit one! I, I love how he's just loafing around. He's like, do 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 do. Oh, please, dude, come on. I think part of the problem is that J he's absorbing the blows. Jump and shoot. There, there we go. go. Come on, come on. There we yes! go. Alright, now you can kill him, right? Now he's got exposed weak points, and he does that to absorb your beam. Ooh, that's mean. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the wave beam. Or it's more like the please jump over my hula hoop beam. Man, what do they do to this guy? He is messed up. That is pure phase on going through his giant cysts. Oh, now he's dead. Oh, that was it? Oh, what a noob. Oh, he had level two clearance. Okay, cool. Steal his key card. Alright, let's let's see what the fuck they were up to here. Alright, uh. Test subject ZD, here after referred to as Metroid Pra. Ooh! Name drop. Was recently discovered in a cavern by mining crews. It quickly dispatched the miners, but was eventually captured by security units and drones. Once contained, we were able to begin studies upon Metroid Prime. Studies have been astonishing. It is genetically similar to Metroids, albeit on a highly evolved level. It displays a limitless capacity for phase on infusion. It shows no phase on base generation whatsoever. It continues to grow in size, and while it has. <clears throat> manifested some psychotic behavior. The cold fields we used to pass with our main effective authorization for advanced studies on Metroid Prime have been approved. Oh, Metroid cool. Prime! Oh, Metroid Prime is not just a thing. It's actually, it's actually a, a, a monster. I like it. But they've been keeping here. 
Security Command issued an all-points alert after the fall of, uh... Mankind. Zebes. Oh, okay. The alert concerns bioform Samus Aran, also known as the Hunter. Subject is a female hominid and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. <laughs> Subject uses a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam and, con and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Aran on sight. Preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. <laughs> A considerable bounty will go to the unit who delivers a rant to command, dead or alive, it matters not. Interesting. Because, because daddy wants to inject her with Metroid DNA. Yeah. Oh! You gotta love it though, the only thing they fear is her. Yes! I mean, come on, the guys at Retro must have played Doom. They've had to. Everyone's had to. Alright, what we got here? Uh, science team is attempting to reverse engineer <laughs> to, Yeah, it's not working so well, is it? Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Iran's weapons against her. Ha! <laughs> ha! Ha! Yeah. Well, when the mechanics, all they think about is just banging it with a wrench until it works. I, I don't think they're they're gonna make it. So, uh, yeah, the Morph Ball prototypes, uh, that didn't, uh, go... They didn't reverse engineer the, the Morph Ball. Because the four test subjects ended up with their bodies being horribly mangled. Mm. So, uh, let's just stick with the beams, yeah? Yeah. Hey, you want 25 bucks to test out a foam uh, morph ball? Uh, can you make it 30? We can make it 30. Uh, sure, uh, what do I do? Alright, just, uh, just uh, put you in a suit here. Uh, okay. ah! Get a harness? Oh, hey. Oh, you're, uh, you're even white Sp whiter. Speaking of reverse engineering, here's ah, an ice trooper. Ice trooper, gotcha. So they really fucked up with this one. You made the ice beam weak to the ice beam. You know what that means? All I can do is just freeze you with the charge beam, fire a missile, and that basically kills you. They really can't do anything right. No, they can't. In fact, they made it easier for us to kill them. But they're fucking around with things they can't fuck around with. Like our power beams. They made Metroid Prime! Oh, I thought that was already there. Well, it probably... It, it, they probably didn't help. Oh, no. I think it's a Metroid that, you know, was patient zero in the uh, finding phase on. Oh. Time to panic. Just a little bit, though. A uh, l, l slight panic? Mm-hmm. Like, it's where you can uh, take the your voice up half an octave? It's like, you know, there's nothing wrong. Now, th now there might be something wrong. Metroid you know, Prime. Metroid Prime, you know? Okay. Gotta keep it together. Metroid, uh -huh. Metroid. Oh, they got more of these elite pirates. Metro aggression levels are rising because they know I'm here! Uh-oh. So, well, at least they recognize that giving phase onto a Metroid is bad. And they said, let's try and do it better. <laughs> and they have, not, they have not been doing better. No. I mean, you got these brittle things called bones in your body. And it's just, yeah. Not the best. Oh my god, there's so much lore. This is a research station. I mean, I expect there to be lore here. Well, all right, all right. Numerous incidents involving spectral entities at Chozo ruin sites. Several ah. personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. <laughs> Sur survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science team believes these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover Chozo artifacts. Somehow, these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears that their artifact... Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. Those ghosts ain't gonna stop me from getting all the Metroids and the, and the phase on. I am afraid of no ghost. <laughs> Avoided detection from the Federation, it seems. Alright, what we got here? And they're still focusing on the Hunter. Subject Metroid Prime's breach has been contained! Reports indicate that it sensed a large batch of raw phase onto the lab from within its stasis. Oh no. Oh no. Metroid Prime has simulated uh -oh. several weapons and defense systems from fallen security units. It has suffered no ill effects. Oh, it's just eating and eating! It oh, can't be stopped! No. What have you done? And they're like, this is fine, this is good, continue to monitor! As the place burns down around them, this is fine. Oh, uh, yeah, pump more phase on. That's good. Perfect. Yeah, you know how his muscles are about to pop? Just a little more in there. I think I saw a gap. <laughs> 
it's like when you have like a cup and you're pouring water. How many drips of water before it, it starts to spill over? Yeah. I think we find this this constant and then pump it into our pirates. Uh, Talon Four is once our stronghold in Rachel's Empire. Yeah, da da da. Meteor strike. Da da da. Probably a phase on meteor hidden there, and then they went shit from there. Blah blah blah. History, history, lore, lore, lore. Burn down the artifacts because the uh, because the ruins kind of stink. And then we insert more phase on into our pirates, and you just pump them up full of sunny D, and they're ready to go. A number of curious Shoza artifacts we've been able to recover. Oh, they already got some. That's not good. Actually, it'd be more uh, the. Blue Raspberry High C. Mmm, good stuff. We're gonna have to start, uh, looking into getting some of these shows our artifacts, I think. We have one, so that's good, but I think they have, like, three or four of them. Fungus. Ugh. Less fungus. They're not keeping the Metroids, uh, under, under control too well. Well, how do you control the uncontrollable? I don't know. They think they can. No, you're the Metroid expert. Tell me how the pirates are supposed to control the uncontrollable. They're stupid. They, they can't. Well, that's valid. Metroid Prime continues to feed and grow ever larger in the Impact Crater Caves. Its hunger knows no bounds. It has begun to manifest unusual mutations since its breach. Who? Ha. Yeah, that's... It's really, really bad. That's like super de-duper bad. Super duper bad. It was a matter of time before Prime corrects this defect and renders itself invulnerable to all weaponry. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> should probably <laughs> deal with that. Do you know? Should probably deal with that. That is a sound, sound idea. I wasn't thinking about that until I heard, yeah, it's almost invincible. Uh, let's fix that, huh? Duh, poison gas! Hurdy poison gas! We gotta do something about that! Well, it's a good thing we're in our power suit. Just turn the oxygen off. We don't have oxygen filters in this thing. God, Shit. John, stop! Oh, it's fine. We just don't go out there into the open. Are we cheesing the gas trap? That's a way to get a little extra missiles if you need it, because you might need some coming up. Okay. Oh, more lore! Come on. Oh, that just that just seems funny to me. Yeah, we got her in the gas trap. What do you mean there's a side room? Well, in case one of ours get in there, you know? Well, who's Come gonna on. go in there, Jerry? The science team! God damn it, Cliff. Come on! Metroid activity is accelerating in non-frigid areas. That's not good either. Wait, so they're getting more powerful in ice? They're getting angrier. Oh. They're getting more aggressive. The Phazon's getting to them. I think Metroid Prime might be controlling them somehow. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think the Hunter Metroids are, are a typical evolution of Metroids. Everything's going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. Everything is awful. Everything is bad when you're in the phase on mines. Everything is awful. Oh my fucking shit, we're about to die. Yeah. These guys aren't even challenging anymore. No, they're, they're more delaying the inevitable. Ow! Now I don't know why I'm not using a super missile. It, it's fine. It's fine. I mean, you just found out that Metroid Prime is not only a thing, but becoming an unstoppable force of Phazon. I'm trying to process this, you see. Please let me understand in my time of need. Thank you. Don't feed the Metroids. Okay. Hey, where did Tom go? He went to the Metroid pit and never came back. I told him not to feed him! Well, alright. I wonder if he became the food. Beyond our safety restrictions. Oh, no! It used to eat only lettuce. Now it eats everything. <laughs> it seeks out Phazon and coats itself to heal itself. In the phase on. So they have a more powerful version of that elite pirate we just saw. Uh oh. They have something called an Omega Pirate. The final pirate. <laughs> oh, only 74%. Oh, that's that's gonna get lower by the time we're done here. Rookie numbers, yeah. Oh, come on. Okay, Bombu patrols. 
<laughs> run, run, she's here, she's killing everything! <laughs> ah! That report was written like five minutes ago. <laughs> shit, 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 God, shit. no, God, no, wait! What else do we have in here? Well, uh, no, there's an area down here. In the phase on mines. Oh, we're almost at the dynamo. Yes, we are. Uh oh. That doesn't look good. Nope. Nope. It'd be really embarrassing if that thing broke up. We had to fight it later. Go through the dynamo. Hey, we're in the dynamo. Let me go and figure out the dynamo. Ah, uh, yes. Finally. This dynamo. Is a, this is a very important upgrade we're going to get right now. Oh, it's an upgrade. Well, that was easy. That was extremely easy. What the hell? That was just a test, but... Oh. The, oh. I'm I'm pretty sure that this electricity maze is randomized slightly. Hmm. But it all leads to the same place. Good luck, friend. Let's go. We don't have exactly all the health in the world. Please don't die. If there's anything I... I ow. If there's anything I never want to see in a Metroid game, it's the game over screen. It's scary. Well, you'll be glad to know that in all this practice, I've only ever died once, and I was at the final boss. Of this game? Yes. Oh, nice. That was once during practice, and then I did better the second time, and then I basically spanked it during the actual <laughs> recording. <laughs> not, to, not, not to brag or give anything away, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, no, 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 bragging or anything like that. I mean, I mean well... I'm, I'm only just the greatest Metroid Prime player who ever did live. It got destroyed, is what I'm saying. The power bomb! The power bomb, baby! Yeah! You love to see it! We can now blow away random shit! <laughs> In every room? There's a lot of benzodium around here, or benz benzadium? Benzodium? Benz Benzosamine. Benzos. The fresh maker. So yeah, like crap like right here. Bendesium. Bendesium, there we go. A lot of structurally unsound stuff, which do roll hey, up. Hey, cool. Hit Y for a power bomb when you have all three bombs ready. And there you go. Now, does it cover the entire room like past Metroid games? No. Okay, so it's a situational it cover, use it if you have to. It covers a lot though, and they're very generous with power bomb ammo here. Well good. Well, it I mean it makes sense, it's the tutorial room. Well, you have to blow that up, basically. <laughs> we can't go that way yet. Well, that's cool. Because there's a... To move on, we would need a, we would need the last beam, and we don't have that yet. Because that way leads to level three. Mm hmm. At level three... <laughs> brother. Boy, howdy. We're not ready for level three yet. Okay, We are okay. not ready for the pain and suffering level three <laughs> will give us. <laughs> okay, Believe okay. Believe me. Okay, sounds good. But next time on Metroid Prime, we're gonna make our way out of the phase on mines, and uh, well, we got we got the power bomb, which means that even more of the game is opened up. Blow shit up! We're gonna blow shit blow up! Shit next up. time on Metroid blow Prime. Shit up. Blow See you shit then. Up. Blow shit up!